to my own future and well-being when I teach this way. I'm here to tell you that the way our textbooks, particularly mass-adopted textbooks, teach math reasoning and patient problem-solving, it's functionally equivalent to turning on Two and a Half Men and calling it a day. <laughs> In all seriousness. Um, here's an example from a physics textbook. It applies equally to math. Uh, notice, first of all here, that you have exactly three pieces of information there each of which will figure into a formula somewhere eventually, which the student will then compute, okay? I believe in real life. And, and ask yourselves, what problem have you solved ever that was worth solving where you knew all of the given information in advance, where you didn't have a surplus of information and you had to filter it out, or you didn't have uh, insufficient information and had to go find some? Um, I'm sure we all agree that no problem worth solving is like that. And the textbook, I think, knows how it's hamstringing students, because watch this. This is the practice problem set. When it comes time to the actual problem set, you have problems like this right here, where we're just swapping out numbers and tweaking the context a little bit. And if the student still doesn't recognize the stamp this is molded from, it helpfully explains to you like, what, what sample problem you can return to to find the formula. Like, you could literally, I mean this, pass this particular unit without knowing any physics, just knowing how to decode a textbook. That's a shame.